ReasonConf is brought to you by our gold sponsors, Ahrefs and Chain Street. I wasn't expecting to present anything, so I just um, took Brave, the browser, and I opened a few tabs, and that's going to be my presentation from left to right. My name is Leandro. I usually go by Osteta, which is my last name and also my Discord and Twitter handle. Uh, I work at the Stockholm Research Center, which is a non for profit as well, Justice Trees and Association. We are uh, dancing humanity eight bits at a time. That's sort of the, <laughs> the idea here. Right? Uh, we run as a completely open source org, so you can find the whole uh, set of meetings and uh, vision, mission, branding, all of the things that you may want to look into into the org repo here. And right now it's just three people. You may know me from recent Stockholm. Anyone from Stockholm here? I see a few hands going up. Woo, awesome. But you may also have seen me, if you were somewhere else, doing the reasonable coding live stream, where I uh, make a fool of myself in front of all of you <laughs> for several hours. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> that's uh, tons of content here. They're very long. So if you're bored one day, just uh, take a look at it. Uh, also, if you've been learning recently, you may have uh, seen the design patterns I've been collecting from all of you. I, I want to thank all of you for you know, proposing some of this. So a round of applause for the community. Thanks. Have a look at them. Uh, there's really interesting things like error propagation with polymorphic variants that and maybe the people that, uh, at Alm could uh, have a look at over there. Yes, cool. But yes, what I want to talk about today is uh, hopefully in the next three minutes. <laughs> It's about uh, RFCs. And this is not necessarily, let's talk about, oh, whether I want semicolons or I like fast pipe versus uh, pipe blasts or whatever. I do not care about the syntax. I care about other things. And it all began when I started a uh, pull request to add interfaces for a standard library in Belt. Right? Belt is this library that we all know and use, but it has some inconsistencies between its own libraries, and it makes it kind of hard to swap some of the backends or throw in a different library and continue using the same patterns. So I figured maybe you know, if we get our shit together, we'll be able to just reuse the same pattern across different libraries. So I pitched this, and it had a lot of nice reactions, like plus ones and uh, what do you call this? Hurras or ta da but uh, <laughs> not many comments uh, after all. Uh, there were some, though. Uh, I don't know who Gilbert is or is called Seven, but if you're here, thank you so much for collaborating in that. And as such, I figured maybe the best way to do this is not to spend a few weeks working on something that no one else will be interested in, but rather start probing the community uh, about what is it that we want to fix as a community rather than as individuals that happen to be aligned in certain topics. And this is a broader conversation to have. But uh, I just want to get it started today. So at some point, I created this community RFCs repository in the recent Stockholm uh, GitHub organization. And in there, I just borrowed the process and the templates that Rust had been using for keeping some of the process open to the community. So you can see here, there's a very small intro that I'm not going to read through, but roughly says some things are very quick to do, so we can just do it in pull requests or issues, but some other things require a little bit of a design process. And this doesn't mean we're going to halt the world and go for two months figuring something out before we do it, but maybe we want to open up and say, hey, there's, uh, I know that Antonio Montero has very good thoughts on this thing, right? So maybe I'll just open the document app and say, hey, could you take a look at this publicly? So then someone else might be able to pick, you know, pitch in. And I bootstrapped it with a first RFC, which is the standard library interfaces. Unfortunately, the first pull request was called Belt Monads, which uh, might explain why it was not very popular. <laughs> <laughs> but roughly, the process includes a few steps. There's a motivation, why do you want to do something? In this particular case, there are some libraries, for example, uh, Belt, Recent Future, BSFX, and BS Highland that all need to have certain set of interfaces for them to be sound. And by that I mean for them to be understandable for people. When I use something and I use map, what the hell does map do? What is my expectation? It's less about is this you know, categorically correct and more about is this doing what I expect it to do, right? Then you have some explanation that I'm also not going to go through that sort of it's a tutorial, right? This is a problem we have. This is what I need to go through to actually make it work. And then after that, right, you have more of a res reference level explanation, right? This is actually what I would expect the proposed solution to have. I would expect it to, to have an interfaces module. As you can see here, we have a belt monad and belt alternative. And this is not me pitching monads to you as a community. It's just saying we need a process for this, right? 
and there might be other different interfaces that we can use. And at the end of it, right, a little bit uh, below, this is a little long, sorry, there's some drawbacks, right? What is it that it's bad with this approach? Which is interesting because in a PR, you usually just say, this is what I want to do, and it's great. And you never think, well, what sucks about this? I'm going to write a little bit about it. This template sort of forces you to think of that. And if you haven't filled that in, it will be obvious. And someone else will be, wait, you're missing the drawbacks. What are the drawbacks of this? And then there's some prior art and so on. And unresolved questions. The idea would be that, and this is by no means saying that this is the official community RFC's repository, but my idea would be if you, oops, sorry, if you feel that there's something that you want to address in the community at large that you like to resolve not as individuals contributing to certain repositories, but rather as in a community that aligns towards a certain direction. For example, the OCaml decoders library is one great example of that. If we had had something like that to begin with in, in BuckleScript or you know, in the OCaml community, we wouldn't have ever had to come up with it in the future. We wouldn't have had the problems that we've been having with decoding. Then you would come in here, just open a pull request, send it to everybody in this court, in the in in this course, this court does have two similar names. And by via email or just ping people directly and then gather all the comments, gather all the ideas in one place. Once it's sort of polished, then we can start working on it. Or if you you know are eager, you can just start working on it, but also do this on site. Uh, that's about it. If it gets merged, maybe one day we'll implement it and it will be part of the actual um, you know, libraries that are officially supported by the community. But if it doesn't, then at least we've discussed and learned why it's, it was a bad idea. Thank you.